her birthday Wednesday, and uh, I thank her my guru to her for uh, a lot of jazz band. We used to go with jazz music, but uh, I write, I used to write poetry. I used to, I want to share a high crew. See, when I write, I write for for purpose and reason. Like, I wrote, I used to write poetry for my wife. Like, she's a culinary arts cook, so I wrote this haiku. It's called Black Bean Dish. It goes like this. Funky, stinky smell. My stomach playing the flu out my ass all night. This is Black Bean Dish. <laughs> I'm supposed to finger snap. No class finger snaps. Yeah, that's a high cruise about nature, so y'all miss that. Let's see that. Y'all are not in the comedic mode yet. I just devastated y'all with a fucking poem y'all didn't know how to do. Yeah, you got me, brother. I appreciate that. I'm all tight time. So I like to do a little couple of jokes when I'm getting out of here. Uh, one joke is, uh, you know, I respect all cultures and, and people of all rights. I respect that shit. You know, I got some African friends that just come to America, so they invited me over for dinner. And I was like, cool, you know. And I didn't want to offend them by asking them what did they cook. But, you know, they gave me a bowl of this African stew. And it tastes good, but then the conversation got really awkward when they talk, start talking about how big the horse balls was that they put in this fucking stew. And I was like, whoa, you know, that's some shit you tell your company, your guests, before you serve them. And then they, they had they justified by saying that this horse testicle, horse balls, is flavored with tomatoes and potatoes and all that. It's supposed to be an Afro DJ. And they're like, KJ, hey, you will be a beast all night. You will be the man. You will be the man. You know? And I'm like, that's cool and all, but they got a pill for that fucking shit, you know? You ain't gotta be horse ball to be fucking horny or hard all fucking night. You know what I mean? There's a pill for that shit, man. You tell, you know, don't, don't tell, they have a conversation about how big the horse's balls was like, yeah, you got a ten size horse ball in your stool, you know, and I'm very uncomfortable and I'm trying to figure out a way how to throw up or shit on myself so I can get the fuck out of this house. But uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find any way to, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd share a really weird and awkward moment with y'all that was supposed to be fun and joke about my <laughs> Visit my African friend eating African stew with horse balls in it. So, uh, last joke I'm on this year, I see he's about to be I ate some African stew just the other day with some friends. Last joke. My son, balls, maybe. I had to go to school as a nine year old <laughs> because they was doing the body parts in the science class. You know, the body parts, you know, they go through that. He's a nine year old, third grade. They go to the body parts. So, the teacher called me up to school because apparently, the way he decide, described his fingers was inappropriate. He like, yeah, this is the pinky finger, this is the ring finger, this is the fuck you finger, this is the you did it finger, and this is good job. And so I come up to school and she, and, and she told me about the story and then she asked him, uh, where'd you learn that from? Dad, did I get it right? I said, no. It's a fine time to fucking watch me out in front of the teacher. She asked him, where'd you see that? I said, he tell my brother that. I said, but your brother fucking 26 years old and shit. I didn't tell you to go to school and repeat that whole uh, uh, thing, conversation what I was having with his brother. I was saying, you did it, good job. And you know, he didn't hear the other part, get the fuck out, you know? So um, that is my comedic moment. It didn't end on the blast that I thought it was. Maybe I'll share this. I'll save this for the black urban crowd, or I don't know what the fuck else to say, but uh, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the show.